I found an insanely good AI image generator that's completely free and does a better job than some paid AI tools. It's called Quen, and here's exactly how it works. Quen was developed in China, and it's part of a wave of open source AI projects that are starting to shake up the creative tech world. The first time I opened it, I honestly thought it was another ChatGPT clone. It even looks similar. You've got a clean chat window, a text box at the bottom, and tabs at the top for text, images, and video. But once I clicked on image generation, I realized it's way more than that. You type your prompt, choose the aspect ratio, and that's it. You hit generate, and within seconds, you've got an image ready to download. The layout is simple enough that even someone who's never used AI before can figure it out in one minute. Now, let's talk about what happens when you actually start generating images. I tested a bunch of prompts to see how far it could go. I started with something simple. A futuristic city at sunset, cinematic lighting, ultra realistic. In less than 10 seconds, it gave me an image that looked like a movie still. There were skyscrapers reflecting sunlight, haze in the air, warm orange tones, and tiny details that made the whole scene come alive. Then I tried a totally different style, a watercolor painting of a fox sitting in a forest. The output looked hand-painted with lovely soft textures and realistic lighting. Now, let's move from stills to motion, because this is where things get even more interesting. Quen doesn't stop at image generation, it can also create videos. There are two ways to do this. Underneath the image that you generate, you can click on Create Video and then type in what you want to happen in the video. Quen gets to work right away and then turns the image into whatever video you want. The motions all make sense, and it's not blurry, like you would expect with most free tools. It also adds sounds and sometimes even dialogue, which is pretty incredible. Another way to create videos from scratch is to set Quen to video generation mode and then just describe what you want to happen. Again, the result is surprisingly smooth. You can see camera motion, lighting changes, and evolving background elements. I also tested a few different aspect ratios and found that smaller resolutions actually produce cleaner visuals. The AI can focus on finer detail without stretching pixels across a wide frame. That's handy for social media because square and vertical formats look best on phones anyway. Now let's talk about what I think is Quen's strongest feature, image editing. After generating some pictures, I started playing with its edit function. You can upload an image, type new instructions, and Quen will modify it while keeping the original style and lighting. I tried something simple. First, I uploaded a portrait and asked it to change the hair color from black to bright red. It did it perfectly, with the same lighting and shadow consistency. Then, I asked for something much harder. Show this same person from a side view. Most AI tools completely fail at this. They either generate a new face or lose the details, but Quen kept the same person and simply rotated the perspective convincingly. That's rare even among paid tools. I also tested an environment change. I had a photo of a city street and asked Quen to remove cars and replace them with bicycles. It did that smoothly, matching the perspective and shadows so well that it looked natural. Then I asked it to turn daytime into sunset. Again, it handled the lighting shift correctly without warping the buildings. This level of editing power gives you flexibility to create variations, improve compositions, or fix small details without restarting from scratch. While I was testing, I also noticed that the system doesn't freeze up when you make several edits in a row. Some online tools throttle your usage or slow down after a few tries. Quen just keeps going. 
It almost feels like you have a local engine running, even though you're on the cloud. It's not flawless. Sometimes when you type long or complex prompts, the results might come out slightly off. The model occasionally guesses wrong on hands or fine detail, just like many others, and if you push it with too many lighting changes, you can get minor color inconsistencies. But those are minor when you consider that it costs nothing and that it's improving fast. Quen handles a wide range of styles. It can do realistic photography, anime, concept art, oil painting styles, and even stylized 3D render looks. It's not as hyper-detailed as Midjourney version 6 yet, but it's closer than you'd expect for a free tool. When you zoom in, you might notice some soft edges or missing micro details, but for everyday creative work, it's more than good enough. I was shocked by how consistent it was across prompts. And what really surprised me was its light moderation. Other platforms like Midjourney and Runway ML usually block prompts even if they're totally harmless. You type something slightly creative and they reject it. Quen isn't as restrictive. You can explore more experimental ideas and unusual concepts without constantly hitting prompt denied. That doesn't mean you should go too wild, but it gives more room for genuine creativity. Compared to paid tools like Runway ML or PicaLabs, Quen isn't quite as cinematic in terms of polish, but it's catching up fast and again, it's free and unlimited. You can create dozens of clips every day if you want to, and the quality stays consistent. For short form creators who post on TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube shorts, that's a big deal. You can generate your visuals, add music, and upload, all without breaking your budget. After a few hours with it, I can confidently say that Quen isn't just a fun experiment. It's a full creative workstation that lets you move from idea to image to video to final edit without leaving the platform. And that's something even big name tools haven't managed to unify properly yet. So here's what I'll say. Try Quen for yourself. Go type a few prompts, see what happens and push it a little. Make your own videos, edit your own photos, test new ideas. What type of images or videos will you try making with Quen? Let me know in the comments below. While you're there, check the description for some helpful resources that I've linked, and don't forget to like and subscribe.